Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Today we are present here with two very brilliant minds. We are with Pratik Bansali and Gaurav K Punjabi, sir. We are very, very grateful that you are here with us today. We are excited to be here, sir. Uh, I recently heard that you know you have been leading the tech summit that just happened like in the past week. Could you tell us that what was the reason that you came up with the idea and how did it all go? See, Bangalore Tech Summit is our uh, Karnataka's flagship uh, technology summit. and this was a 26th edition and it's an annual uh, affair for uh, the technology hub where we had over 700 exhibitors and uh, over 300 speakers and almost 30000 uh, you know footfalls across 3 days and this covered e- a to z of all technology and we also had country partners from 30 different countries who were, who were present here looking for collaboration looking for investment looking for partnerships and it's all boiling down to how do we grow collaboratively and drive business from state from india so it is a very important event and i'm urging uh, you know colleges and students and the faculty to take this advantage in the coming years get more involved with the industry and this is the way forward to you know uh, go hand in hand with the industry so it's important synergize the youth uh, with the industry and uh, let them also know what's happening across the world and how much of potential uh, in the it sector in particular and in other sectors is available in the country and how they can uh, how they can be a part of the indian story which is going to happen over the next few decades uh, meeting the right people yeah that's important yeah. definitely sir and uh, today you are present here to like uh, inspire the students with their brilliant words so what are the highlights or like what are the key points that these students should grasp from your workshop see i'm i'm a manufacturing defect he he's another manufacturing defect we've got a soft corner for youngsters uh we we believe they are the future of the country and if given the right guidance um, given the right fundamentals uh, a, a good entrepreneur is going to inspire and impact the lives of thousands of other people over his lifetime so it's important for them to know what's happening around the world what it takes to uh, to become a become an entrepreneur what are the demand and supply gaps uh, just normal things of uh, what taxation what are the laws of the taxation in the country uh, what the gdp is looking like uh, what major banks and institutions across the world are thinking about india and the indian growth story uh, and in general what 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 indian corporates are doing in terms of boosting the infrastructure at the grassroots level and of course the government initiatives which uh, play the fundamental role so uh, today we intend to speak on entrepreneurship on startups uh, uh, on the traits of being an entrepreneur and uh, understanding that all good things take time and you don't become rich overnight and the idea should not be to become rich but to uh, create something of value to understand business where your product or service uh, should be in a cost and profit sustained model year after year and it should plug some demand and supply gap uh, not that you do something uh, well it goes up like a rocket and it crashes down it, it has to be sustained So you look at any big corporates of the countries uh, it's taken decades half a century quarter century or even more to build good things so we're going to uh, let them know about all these things talk a little bit about uh, my investment journey in the equity markets and tell them how fundamentals and reading balance sheets is important and social media should be avoided while investments and uh, yeah we'll be open to taking any other questions students wish to uh, so that uh, they feel uh, yes they are good and they're going to do good things in life so basically to inspire them trying to you know shake them off from their mindset and uh, from a job seeker to a job creator uh, the traditional way of you know uh, getting into an mba for jobs and placement and you know fast growth uh, trying to do our bit to tell them that the reality is different and give them kind of a better confidence that you you are you are you know free to do or you can do what you have in mind and you can achieve what you have in mind you know uh, it's very important for them to realize up front in their uh, career growth or career journey mba is the first step to their careers so for them it's very important you know to take their route because and have self confidence that whatever they do in their life they would achieve you know what they set off for and not go with the herd mentality not go because somebody is told you not go because somebody is there but believe in yourself and you know go after it i have few smiling faces at the end of it just like you're smiling thank you sir thank you.